Hi guys, so you join me here today and we're actually at the Oaks at Sesse and we're on Willows Lake and today's a bit different to normal, I'm actually going to run you through how I approach the perch fishing on this lake. Perch are one of them fish up and down the country in commercials that are just getting bigger and bigger and to be honest it's one of them fish that you can't really ignore now when you're fishing a silverfish match on a commercial in winter, they are the bonus fish. Some of them can be a little bit tricky to catch but once you figure out how to catch them they're the fish that make the difference from just doing all right in a match to possibly framing and winning the match. It only takes a couple of these fish, boosts you up, it takes a lot of roach to catch what the weight of one perch is so I'm going to give you an insight into that, show you how I get on, hope you enjoy. Now come and join me on the box. So we're sat down at this peg now, I've got here and I'll have a look around and as you can see I've got overhanging bushes on my near side, both sides, brilliant, this is what I'm looking for. Don't worry about it being too close, I know this one's probably just over a top kit, probably a top kit and two-ish down that side. When we're targeting perch, they do like to live in the edge. There was actually a guy the other week on one of the matches, put a couple of maggots on his hook, dropped it in the edge, filled his toss pot up with a few maggots to ship out, went to ship out and thought he was caught on bottom. He'd gone on up to two pound perch, literally at the all-in. So <laughs> believe it or not, they do live right close in and around the snags. So I've plumbed up. Like I say, that one's just over a top kit and I found the same depth down my right hand margin in amongst the br brambles where it's a clear spot. Make sure you pull your pl plummet around because these, obviously the, the twigs fall off and they go in the water and you can get snagged up on them. If you just pull it around, if it gets caught up, move to a different spot. If not, game on. So, bait that I'm going to use. I'm going to use casters today. I know we're fishing for perch. Obviously worms are good bait for perch as well but it's quite selective whereas normally when you're in a match I ain't bothered what I catch I'm targeting perch down these edges but if I catch big roach or whatever I'm happy and you're unlikely to catch them on the worms as I say it's a bit more selective so my preference I'm just going to go down with casters to kick start it literally put a, a palm full of casters in you're leaving it probably a couple of hours at least before you even have a look on it so I'll kick start it with a palm full of casters and then just lose feed every five, ten minutes or so, just put a few in over the top just to trickle some bait in and it's as easy as that. Obviously when you go down there you normally get an indication within the first few minutes if there's one there and it just gets stronger as the day goes on. Right guys, so as you saw this morning I fed both edges with some casters, left it two three hours now it's getting on in session a little bit and it's now time to go down there and have a look see what we catch we're hoping for perch but who knows what's going to come along let's go and have a look i've got a couple of casters on hook a bit of line feed a bit of casters down it swim It's exciting is this because oak could happen. We could blank and not catch out, or we could have a right good day. Settle down nicely, is that? Let's bring it in. And at first I'd probably try it, give it five minutes at least. You normally have a bite or an indication within five minutes if there is oak down there. Oh, an indication straight away then. It's always a good sign. Just let me know that fish are actually eating the bait that I put down. And it's gone. Oh, there we go. Ended up in tree there, guys. I don't know what it is, but it's pulling a bit of elastic out. That's what we want to see. A bit of a swirl as well there. Oh, it's a perch. It is a perch, guys. This is what we have come for. I think we've got one first put in. <laughs> Look at that. Like dinosaurs, beast. Look at him. Oh. So lively. Look right in the corner of his mouth. Let's take that out. Look at him. It's all a bit backwards this sat behind me in it, but 
put him in there, see if we can get another. Bit of skills that one. So literally, double caster. And the size 14. It's fishing in SFL. Spin back round. Shit back out down this edge. Just throw a bit of bait down that side as well. A bit of bait in there. Liam Riggan, see if it happens again. Who knows, eh? We've had him first chuck, I reckon we're going to be in for a decent session. That float settle. I didn't think we'd get one that fast, I thought it might take a few minutes at least. But I suppose we have been feeding it, left it. You can get tempted to go on them quite early, but... This sort of fishing, the longer you leave it, the better it gets. And hopefully it'll just get stronger now. Another perch, guys. Not a massive one, but they all count. I say not a massive one, I'd still be happy with it. Look at the size of him. They do go bigger in here, but they won't moan. Him. Let's take a look out. Look at that. Lovely fisher. I reckon we're going to catch loads of these. Well, I say loads, at least a few more. Nice fish they are. So you've just seen, I've had a, a couple of perch few roach, some big roach as well to be fair, not that I expected any of that size at all, I thought we might get the odd one, but nothing of that size. Just going to go out again, Let's see if we can catch some more. Stole me float out at water, it's all it settles, oh, I think someone took it on drop then. Let's settle in there though. Hopefully, there we go. Look at that for a dinosaur. Boom. <laughs> Hopefully there's a few more of these to come along. Like that car fast. Look at that. Double caster. Right lightly hooked as well, right in the mouth. Look at the size on these. You can see why they're a predatory fish. Look at that. Like, <laughs> there we go. Put him in there. Hopefully there's some more of them where he came from. <laughs> so when I said, I think we'll catch anything down the edge. This was the last species that I thought we might catch in here. Didn't even know there were on any in here, to be honest. Maybe odd one, that's it. Look at his lips, you can tell he doesn't get caught often just by them. Nice little surprise for dear. There we go, I've just ducked one down my left hand side. I don't know what it is at the minute. Possibly. Perch, yes. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it's just wrapped around his fin. We don't mind though. 
first fish that I've had down that side, so it's always nice to catch down both. Look at that corner at mouth. All roughly the same size, aren't they? Just over a pound. Nice fish. It's getting a little bit ridiculous now with this, guys. I reckon this is another perch, and if it is, I think we're on something like seven perch, which is just unbelievable, really, as well as them other fish we've had as well. He's going to try doing me in a snug. I've got him. Look at the size of him. Oh, yeah. Brilliant fish, that is. Could even be... Biggest one at day, maybe? He's getting there. He's heavy. Come here. Look at that. That was strong as well. Look at that. Lovely fish, them, aren't they? Got a right fat belly on him. Be all stocked up, and these will be weighing pretty heavy. Can't believe how many we've had, to be honest. Literally, like, I think I'm sure that's number seven or something like that. More than what I'd ever thought. I thought we might do well to get, I don't know, three or four maybe, but still got a bit of time left yet. Let's see how many more we can get. And there we go guys, I think this is another perch. I've had an awesome day's fishing to be honest. Caught a lot more than what we thought we'd ever catch. Look at that, lovely. Get him in and let's take a look at what we've caught today then. Right guys, as you can see, I've had an awesome afternoon's fishing. Chucked all other fish back that I got with them and just kept these. This is what it were all about catching perch on commercials like this you can see the decent fish well over a pound pound and a half probably even pushing two some of them hope you've enjoyed the video picked up a few tips along the way like and subscribe and i'll bring you plenty more action cheers guys